everybody, I'm on Glendora, continuing my top 20 favorite animes list, and here we have number 12.2, um, <clears throat> High School DxD. Uh, just gonna get it out of the way, my favorite character in this is Genovia. Uh, and I think I'm pronouncing her name right, um, but yeah, so she's my favorite character, she's, uh, badass, she doesn't even show up till like, the second season, but that doesn't really matter to me, I still think that she's just the biggest badass in that series, um, and, uh, yeah, so let's see, what's, so what's the story? Issei is a pervert. Gee, does that sound familiar? Uh, <clears throat> he likes uh, the good, peaceful... He likes the good and peaceful life. Gee, does that sound familiar? He can't seem to get a girlfriend to save his life. Does that sound familiar? And then, all of a sudden, something happens to turn his world completely upside down and thus destroys his calm, peaceful days. Does that sound freaking familiar? It's Heaven's Lost Property all over again. I mean, this should pretty much explain why they're both on the same spot. Um... <clears throat> Their, their plots are very, very similar. <clears throat> um, except difference here is, uh, how do I put it? Uh, I guess there's no easy way to put this. He becomes a demon. He becomes a demon of hell. I am not joking. Um, <clears throat> Rius Grammary, uh, <clears throat> uh, the s younger sister of Satan himself, um, decides to uh, revive Issei from the dead and turn him into one of her... Uh, into one of her pawns, uh, into a member of her team, and pretty much the whole series, uh, and he finds out that uh, if he ends up making enough contracts with humans, he'll not only be able to get his own team of uh, 15 people, but these said people will have to do whatever he says, he will own them, and so... Of course, as you would expect from a complete pervert like him, the whole point of the series is him trying to get um, all of, him trying to get all of uh, all of those um, contracts signed uh, and just build his own harem. Yeah. Uh, oh. Excuse me. I'm just exhausted. Did not get any sleep last night. Um. <clears throat> so, I like this anime. I do. It has a lot of funny moments. It this anime cracks me up. Just like, just like Heaven's Lost Property. It just cracks me up. You can tell they are not taking themselves that seriously. They don't... These animes don't take themselves all that seriously. They know that... They know that this is all just part of one big joke. I like it. I really like animes that don't take themselves seriously and just try to make you laugh.
for some reason, those animes always seem to work. Where an anime who... Uh, an anime that uh, thinks it's being one thing usually is being something completely different. And it just ends up getting really confusing and stupid. And I'm just rambling on about nonsense. Um, so... Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Favorite character Genovia, and main vil. Uh, the main villain for the first season is uh, um, a guy called uh, Riser Phoenix, and yeah, he was a pretty cool villain. That's actually about it. I don't really have anything else on this. Um, so I'm sure if you guys put this and the first number 12 together, it'd be like 15, it'd be like 15 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to be putting up uh, my next video uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I will uh, put up a uh, chapter review for the latest Naruto chapter. So look forward to that, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody.